fear, panic, anxiety. That's what most investors and everyday people are feeling right now with record levels of inflation, individual stocks down 90%, mega companies like Amazon and Meta down 50%, and even ETFs, index funds down 20 to 30%. There is nowhere safe for your money right now. And that's what they want you to believe. You see, if you invest with your head and not with your heart, I think it's on this side, you're gonna see that this is one of the best times to invest right now in 2022. If you look beyond this silly clickbait, like the wealth transferring, market flipping on these Finfluencers videos, you're gonna see that this is a damn good time to invest right now, especially if you're brand new. But they're trying to scare you away with all these thumbnails i mean come on but it is true that i'm seeing so many mistakes being made out there with money and investing right now whether you're new to the game or you're an experienced investor so i just had to make this video there are three bad investing and trading habits that i see all the time and first one is that you're buying every single dip all right this is not like your dip in a bull market in a bear market just because you see it bouncing back a little bit doesn't mean that it's a you know the best time to dump all your money in at once you pretty much never want to do that if you really have a greedy and short-term mindset and you're looking at the charts and thinking that you're gonna make plenty of money just look at that downtrend i mean just look at it pretty self-explanatory number two you're an ape and you just throw your money at everything like bananas that's not gonna work in a bear market it's not the ape market it's the bear market and number three investing mistake that I see happening all the time with investors is that you're not investing at all, actually. So this goes out to those people that say they don't have the time, the money, the knowledge to invest. I don't know what you're waiting for because you know you might say, hey, Chris, stocks are going lower, so I'm gonna lose even more money if I invest, You know, even if inflation is going to whittle away at my money over time. But the reality is if you have a longer term mindset like three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, unless you're retiring tomorrow or, or you know you think you're retiring tomorrow and you're gonna buy a nice Lambo and party it up, you're, you're probably gonna have plenty of time to invest and over time, in a long period of time, stocks will go much higher. If you compare the returns, compound interest over 20 years versus saving your money, it's a no brainer. Seriously, if you just plan to save your money, you're not gonna have a path to wealth. You're gonna have a path to nowhere except probably a hole in the ground. Now we have a stock that is Discord where we have books, live streams every day, trading courses, stock alerts, option alerts, crypto alerts. But a lot of people fail because literally they say they don't have the time, money, or knowledge. But you're not investing in yourself to get that time money and knowledge and prioritizing yourself so that you can make more money in the future. That's what distinguishes a lot of people that are successful and a lot of people that are not. So what would I plan to do to grow wealth during this recession and bear market? Number one is very simple. I'm gonna max out my contributions to my retirement accounts. If you're not taking advantage because one in four people are not taking advantage, leaving money on the table because you know, you're basically guaranteed a 50 to 100% return if you have an employee employer matching program and using a retirement account pretty much forces you to have a long-term mindset number two as i mentioned earlier pick your investments wisely this is not the time to gamble on just anything so here's the order of what i would personally focus my investments in etfs profitable large cap companies smaller cap companies growth stocks speculative stocks trading long-term options and then trading short-term stocks and short-term options. This all depends on your personal preferences, your personal financial situations. If you need to talk to a financial advisor, please do so. We have that in the Discord, by the way. And lastly, number three, inflation-proof yourself. At the end of the day, you need to invest in yourself, in your financial future. It's not just gonna come out of nowhere. So if you're worried about a recession, if you're worried about inflation, you need to make sure that your job is as essential as possible so people don't fire you, so people don't lay off you, so people don't cut your wages because you are in demand. So make sure that you're developing those skills to make sure that you are in demand. And if you are looking for extra income or you're actually just thinking about it, don't just think about it, actually take action. So there are so many side hustles you can pursue. Make sure you have that extra income so that you're not worried about what's gonna happen. You're actually being proactive, not reactive. If inflation's gonna make things more expensive and if the economy is gonna slow down, you need to speed up. So there you have it folks to summarize three things not to do. Don't gamble on just anything. Don't sit on the sidelines forever. 
and make sure that you're not just buying every single dip with all of your money. Do invest in yourself, focus on profitable companies and ETFs first and foremost, and max out those retirement contributions. If you like this video, please give it a like. It helps out the channel tremendously. Do check out the Stock Dads Discord where we have so much educational content for you guys and helps you become a better trader and investor. I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.